example so easiest for you to understand okay so this example is about a control system for CSTR okay for those having CSTR you might be so happy okay because you can refer to this example okay this CSTR uh, is an exothermic reaction what happened when exothermic reaction the temperature we goes up as the reaction we release the heat okay you learn more about reaction engineering okay when the temperature is increased because of the reaction you have to control the temperature if you don't control the temperature what will happen okay you know what happened okay so the first thing what you have to do okay why we need control system here okay because of the safety issue we don't want to have a runaway reaction because it is exothermic the temperatures goes up and up okay uh, up up and away if you don't control it okay so here we have okay this is what happened lah okay this is what happened when we have a runaway exothermic reaction when we have runaway exothermic reaction we afraid that someone somebody might pass away okay okay so how to do it okay in this exothermic reaction we have a reaction from a to b okay so there are 10 variable oh, it's a lot okay 10 variable last time when you learn in process control you learn single single variable during lab session you learn how to control pressure how to control level just single single variable and single single loop but in reality it's more than that okay for this case we have 10 variable okay this 10 variable include control variable manipulated variable and disturbance variable okay so these are the variable okay inlet volumetric flow rate inlet temperature composition a concentration inlet concentration Okay, we have outlet flow rate, we have reactor temperature, we have reactor concentration or outlet. We assume the concentration inside the reactor and the concentration outlet is the same. Same goes with the temperature. We have a coolant temperature inlet, we have flow rate of the inlet, uh, sorry, flow rate of the coolant coolant mass flow rate we have coolant uh, temp out temperature outlet okay we have a level so you can count on it it's 10 variable if you have this 10 variable do you really need 10 control loop do you think what do you think you don't think you don't understand right now it's okay take your time you can just Rewind, rewind, repeat, listen many, 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 many times to this video. Okay, if you want to, I don't force you. Okay. Okay, for this example, how to select the control variable? The first one, according to the guideline, the temperature should be a control variable because of the safety issue. And number two, because it have direct interact with the concentration. For example, direction take place, direction temperature take place at 300 degree C. At temperature below than 300 degree C, there is no reaction occur. When there are no reaction occur, the concentration of CA will be affected. Okay. The next one is the CA itself because it affect the product quality. This is based on guideline number 3. And then the level. The level is uh, non-self-regulating which is 
dekat line number 1. Okay. The second thing is how to select the manipulated variable. Okay. For the FC, is directly affect the reactor temperature, which is the coolant flow rate. The coolant flow rate will affect the temperature of the reactor. So, the coolant flow rate become the the coolant flow rate become the manipulated variable. Manipulated variable to manipulate the control variable. Okay. Each of these should be paired correctly. Okay. Whereas for the uh, CA as a control variable, the manipulated variable for CA is the inlet flow rate because it's directly and rapidly affect the conversion. And for the level, the level as a control variable, the manipulated variable for the level is the outlet flow rate. Because outlet flow rate, if you drain more, your your water your level will reduce more okay so choose manipulated variable and control variable pair between these two correctly okay okay so for this CSTR you just need three control loop okay after pairing between control variable and manipulated variable you just need three loop the first loop is the temperature control whereby a temperature transmitter will transmit a signal to a temperature controller and then this temperature controller will compare the value of set point, the temperature set point and the current temperature that measured by the sensor and then this controller will send a signal to a control valve to further close or further open in order to manipulate the flow rate so that the temperature will change accordingly okay and the second loop is the level whereby you are manipulating the flow rate of outlet outlet flow rate uh, from the reactor okay and you will have a level transmitter that send a signal to a level controller then level controller will compare the set point value and the current value then the control will send a signal to a control valve to further open or further close same goes with your composition control whereby you are controlling you, your manipulated variable is your CA. So you want to control the composition of CA by using, uh, by manipulating the flow rate of the inlet. Okay. So far, uh, if you could understand, you have to choose your control variable, you have to choose your manipulated variable that really related to each other. Okay. In this case, the temperature is a control variable and the flow rate of the coolant. Okay, not the flow rate of the stream into the reactor. Okay, the flow rate of the coolant because the coolant have a function to absorb the heat generated from direction okay you have to differentiate it is the coolant flow rate not the flow rate of the process stream okay coolant flow rate okay same goes with level and also the composition okay uh, i'm not sure whether you are aware or not uh, in this reaction is actually a conversion of a to b Okay, from A to B. So, why the control variable here is CA, not CB? Okay, 
if you can think about it meaning to say you might understand this video or i'm not sure okay because i'm not sure whether what i'm saying you could get what i mean or not i don't know okay but if you have any problem just uh, just come back okay okay the last part in this video is about a uh, disturbance variable for each of the loops they might uh, there might be a few disturbance variables and for example in a composition loop if there is no control system at the equipment before the reactor so your concentration of a initial concentration of a initial uh, concentration of a inlet will become your disturbance okay for the temperature loop your temperature of the uh, coolant the temperature of the coolant will become your disturbance the flow rate become your manipulated variable okay and then for the level uh, the disturbance could be your uh, inlet flow rate okay if the higher if the inlet flow rate is higher than the outlet flow rate the level will uh, increase same goes in the other way around okay so hopefully uh, this video will help you to design at least to determine your control variable disturbance variable and uh, this three variable okay hopefully this video will help you to determine this three variable and i will make another video about the control strategy okay Thank you.